What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. My name is Max Jolly and today we are going to be installing a boost controller on our new turbo for the Blue 240. Let's get into it. Now, as you may or may not know, I recently blew up my previous turbo on the Blue 240. If you follow me on Instagram, Max underscore Jolly, you would have seen that. Um, I haven't posted about it on YouTube yet, um, but I got this new one. Um, the only difference between this one and the old one is that it is internally waste gated. Only reason I did that, it's going to be a lot more simple. Um, the exhaust routing is going to be much more simple everything about it i mean if you were doing something high out horsepower application 600 horsepower 500 whatever maybe an external would be worth it but for me i'm looking to push no more than 300 um so this is going to work perfectly the deficiencies are not going to matter too much um but with this when i clocked the turbo the original hose that went from boost pressure to the wastegate itself was a little bit too short and i found that as the perfect opportunity to throw this really cheap boost controller that came with it right in line so what we're going to do today is we're going to install this not on the side of like the inner fender like most people do or similar setups would we are going to route it to the controller just like this make a bracket so it sits right about here mounts onto one of the bolts on the back of the turbo and then it'll be routed again from this spout up to the wastegate and then it should work perfectly um, this is going to be a super simple install, super simple bracket to make. It looks like it's just going to be about a 90 degree. Might do it actually upside down like so. And yeah, that's going to be a wrap for today's video, but let's get into it. Let's start making that bracket and getting this thing mounted. So our boost controller is mounted exactly how I wanted it. Plenty sturdy on there, a little bit of distance away. I don't think heat would affect this thing, but you know, just in case it should be plenty fine. This hose is the perfect length to get boost pressure. Um, so all I need to do is make a new line that runs from the boost controller out to the wastegate, and then we can call this small mini project done. So I've just wrapped up doing the lines for this boost controller, going to the wastegate and supply of boost. And I'm really pleased with how this came out. I used a couple zip ties. I saw this on like five minute crafts or something. And I don't know what they're using it for, like wires behind a desk, but it, I don't know why. But for some reason it came to my head and I thought it might look kind of cool. And I kind of am digging it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I just feel like it looks cleaner than leaving them all scraggly. But yeah, let me know what you think. I think this is a super cool solution just to make it a little bit neater a little bit cleaner a little bit more custom so yeah this is i mean that's pretty much a wrap for the boost controller install setup uh bracket making whatever you want to call it um i'm really happy with how this turned out so hopefully when we get this mounted in the car soon i'm already filming a video of installing this new turbo and getting the old one replaced so um yeah, hopefully we can get this in and this boost controller, we'll be able to test it then. Uh, I got a boost gauge that's all hooked up, so we'll be able to monkey with that, mess around with it, do some little bit of tuning. So, yeah. 
but yeah that's going to be a wrap for today's video i hope you guys really enjoyed it um super simple super quick something that you can replicate at home um i know some people have had questions about plumbing boost controllers and it's super simple uh boost supply goes in or any vacuum supply and the out goes to the wastegate so this is a super easy way of doing it if you have an internal wastegate turbo similar to this like this or exactly like this this is a super easy thing you can do tap into that then you don't have to mount this anywhere and then if you ever need to take off the turbo it's all one piece it's not you don't have to like pull lines or anything so yeah super simple uh like comment subscribe i know i've been gone for a while i've been at college um so i'm trying to pump out at least a few videos this month during christmas i've been busy but uh we'll see where that gets us so thank you guys so much for watching peace out and i will see you in the next video